Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Noah again. I am here today to show you how to set up a volleyball game using the Pin TV virtual scoreboard software. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to see when you open the software is you're going to see a list of sports. Uh, you choose the sport you want to play. Today we're going to play volleyball. And what's going to happen after that is you're going to get a list of questions, kind of narrowing down the, the rules that you want to play by today. And if all that looks correct, you click yes, and then the user interface and the scoreboard will pop up, and then you start playing. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to take us about 10 seconds or so to do this whole process. So what sport are we playing today? We're going to play some volleyball. How many sets does it take to win the match? Today we're going to play two out of three games. Uh, how many points does it take to win each set? We're going to play the 25 points. And how many points does it take to win the final set? We're going to play the 25 also. And then what are the point limits for each set? It's going to be a, we could either do win by two, max 27, or win by two, no limit. Uh, let's do win by two, max 27. And then how long are the timeouts today? You get two timeouts in volleyball. So let's go ahead and make them 60 seconds. Does all this look correct? Yes, it does. So we're going to click yes. The user interface is going to pop up. And I'm also going to bring up the relaunch scoreboard. So I'm going to launch the scoreboard. Um, and this is what the scoreboard that, the, that your user, that your, um, that your fans will actually get to look at. So the way this works is you drag this window over to the Pin TV system, you make it full screen, and you're up and running. You're good to go. Um, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to leave it right here. I'm going to shrink down the user interface so you can kind of see both of them at the same time. Uh, first things first I want to show you is team names. You can use up to six letters, so if you got to abbreviate, you got to abbreviate. So let's go ahead and pick two teams that want to play each other today. Let's do, um, how about, let's do Baylor. And we'll, we'll put them against Kansas for fun. So there, we got Baylor versus Kansas. Their names pop up right away on the scoreboard. Uh, we also have possession. So the possession arrow is controlled, the possessions are controlled by the arrows on your keyboard. It's, it's all that's documented right here. Left, down, and right arrows are for possession. And pressing one while they have possession will add a point to their team. Also, space bar is to pause the timeout clock. So let's go ahead and give um, Baylor first possession. I just pressed uh, left on my keyboard, and then Baylor scores a point. I just pressed one on my keyboard. So there's multiple ways to give a team points in this. If you don't want to use your keyboard, you can use your mouse and click add a point if you chose to do it that way. Or if you made a mistake, you could add or subtract points using these plus minus buttons. So let's say Baylor's doing a great job. They got five points and then uh, they lose possession to Kansas. They lose possession to Kansas. And then uh, Kansas scores a few points. And Baylor's like, whoa, too much is going on. Let's go ahead and call timeout. So all you have to do to call a timeout is click on um, the timeouts right here. So if I click 60 second timeout, you're going to see the user interface, the timer's running down, and we can pause or timeout or end the timeout right here. But also, this is what your fans see. They see that your game's in a timeout, they see how much time is left, they see who called the timeout, and it's all, you know, in, in really big 360 degree fashion like the Pin TV does. So if we go ahead and end this timeout, you'll see we get a one line through here which means Baylor only has one timeout. You're going to see that over here. Baylor has one dot left, timeouts left. All right, so let's go ahead and say um, Baylor pulls it out, and they go ahead and score their 25 points, and they win the first set. And boom, set one has ended. Go to set two. Now, as you see, uh, the sets one box automatically incremented up to one because Baylor won. We go to set two, and the, the match points go ahead and reset back to zero. Now, one last thing I can show you here is, uh, is the game summary. So what the game summary is going to say is what the last game was. So it looks like Baylor won the first set, uh, 25 to 4. And if you want to see how they did it, you can click on Show More here, and it'll tell you what the order of the points were scored in. So that's just kind of something you can go back and look at if you needed to. Um, and obviously, if uh, Baylor wins the second set, they would win the game. So if they... Really quick win the set. Boom. Game has ended. Baylor wins. All right, so that's all I got for you today. I hope you have a great day. And if you have any more questions about uh, Pin TVs or Virtual Scoreboard, um, please check out our website. Contact us at uh, www.mypintv.com. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.